Welcome to this video about understanding logarithms, or simply the logs. The exponent is the number we place up here, whereas this number is called the base. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, because the exponent tells us that we should multiply the number 2 by itself 3 times. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. We'll now see how we can calculate the logs. The log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. We can think like this. If we have a base of 2, how many times should we multiply this base by itself to get 8? That is 3, because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. The log of 8 with base 2 is therefore equal to 3. In other words, the log base 2 of 8 means that we seek the value that should be in the exponent, where the base is 2, to get 8. That value is in this example equal to 3. Let's take another example. What is the log base 2 of 4? We place the base here and the 4 here. So, what should be in the exponent to get 4? 2, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4. This means that the log base 2 of 4 is 2. So, what is the log base 3 of 27? In other words, what should we have in the exponent to get 27? 3, because 3 multiplied by itself 3 times is 27. The log of 27 with base 3 is therefore equal to 3. So, what is the log base 4 of 16? How many 4s do we need to multiply to get 16? 2, because 4 times 4 is 16. What is the log base 5 of 125? How many 5s do we need to multiply to get 125? 3. Because 5 to the power of 3 is 125. What is the log base 10 or 1000? 3. Because 10 to the power of 3 is 1000. What is the log base 10 or 67? That is about 1.826075. To come up with this number, we need to use a calculator. What is the log base E of 20.08? E is the Euler's number, which is approximately equal to 2.718. This means that the base is approximately equal to 2.718. Log base E of 20.08 is approximately equal to 3, because if we multiply Euler's number by itself three times, we get a value of approximately 20.08. To compute logs with the base of E, we also need to use a calculator. Log base E is usually denoted as Ln, which represents the natural log. The natural log of 20.08 is therefore equal to about 3. So, what is the log base E of 2.718? 1, right? Because Euler's number to the power of 1 is approximately equal to 2.718. Log base E of E is therefore equal to 1. If the base is equal to the number inside the brackets, the answer will always be 1. One confusion with logs occurs when we write like this, because we do not say which base it is. In some fields, this means that we should take the natural log of 100, whereas in other fields, this means that we should take the log base 10 of 100. If you, for example, use the software R, the log of 100 means that you compute the natural log of 100. To change the base, we just add the corresponding number after the log, or write like this, where we place the base here. Finally, we'll have a look at common logs with the base 10. We already know that the log of 100 with the base 10 is 2. 
because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. The log of 10 with the base 10 is equal to 1, because 10 to the power of 1 is 10. The log base 10 of 1 is 0, because 10 to the power of 0 is 1. So, what is the log base 10 of 0? In other words, what number should we place up here to get 0? It turns out that there is no such number. 10 to the power of something can never be 0. This means that we cannot compute the log of 0. Also, we cannot compute the log of a negative number. However, we can compute the log of a number that is smaller than 1. The log base 10 of 0 0.1 is negative 1, because 10 to the power of negative 1 is 0 0.1. Likewise, the log of 0 0.01 with the base 10 is equal to negative 2, because 10 to the power of negative 2 is 0 0.01. Note that the log of this small number, which is close to 0, results in negative 12, because 10 to the power of negative 12 results in this small number. This means that if we place a super large number here, or an infinitely large number, we'll get a value that is approximately equal to zero. This explains why some software tools, such as R, will report that the log base 10 of zero is a negative infinity number. In R, we can compute the log base 2, the natural log, and log base 10 like this. But if we have another base, such as 5, we need to use the general form of the function, where we put the base here. If you happen to have a calculator or a software that only allows for these common bases, you can use the change of base formula. For example, to calculate the log base 5 of 100 can be done if you set c to, for example, 10. Any base will work. We set A to 5 and B to 100 and do the math. This was the end of this video. Thanks for watching.